What up, party people? Matt Lehman, the owner of SpatulaCityRecords.com for all of your vinyl needs. You've already read the caption, you've already read the title, you know what this is, so I can jump to the meat and potatoes of it. I had no idea when I originally posted this video that 40,000 people would view it, or it would be viewed 40,000 times. And that's the video on how to fix the scratch of a record. Had I known that, I might have spent a little more time in the props department because I got a lot of comments about my cardboard um, cutout of group records for grooves. However, it's kind of like the Ryan Reynolds of my YouTube channel. Everybody loves it and everybody wants to talk about it. But, so I'm not going to take it down. So if you want to see it and you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the other video on my YouTube channel that's about uh, how to fix the scratch on a record. I do a demonstration that is very high tech. I wanted to redo it because there's a lot of questions that keep coming up on it. So I want to show you, and I actually have um, magnifying glasses to use on my iPhone. So I'll show you how to do it. So first and foremost, what are the tools that go into repairing a record? Number one, I use, this is my magnifying glass. Um, you can pick these up. I picked these up from China on eBay. I think they're like five or seven bucks. It has a blue light or black light. And then it has just a bright light and it's a 60, I think it's 60 to 100 times. Uh, let me see, I got another one here. Doesn't say the power on it, but I think it's 60 to 100. They have, re they have replaceable batteries, so you can keep using them over and over again. And then the number one tool is hard to see there. It is actually a pencil with a needle jammed in the eraser. And that's the first question that I get asked more than anything. What kind of needle do I use? This is not a sewing machine needle because a sewing machine needle has a fat ass and it doesn't stick in the uh, eraser very well. This is just a typical sewing needle for needle and thread. Now people are like, well there's a bunch of different kinds. You're right, there's tons of different kinds. In fact, I have a little jar full of different needles that I use. Um, but personally, I prefer one that is a little dull uh, or a little larger because the sharper point you get, the more likely you are to dig into the groove of a record and that's gonna cause more damage to it. Now, a lot of people say they use toothpicks to do this. Um, I've tried it, I have yet to find a toothpick that can hold up to a uh, vinyl record or a PVC groove. Uh, they tend to fall apart and they're not as sharp as I'd like them to be. Um, they're just, they're, the, the tip of the toothpick is way too wide. But that's somebody, I, hey, if it works for you, it works for you, great. This is not a uh, one-time fix-all. This is this, there's, there's lots of different things that go into this. There's a lot of practice and there's a lot of effort that it takes to do this. I would not recommend doing this for the first time on your Led Zeppelin hot mix because if you screw it up, it's really hard to fix if you screw it up more. Um, so what I've got today is I have, uh, this is Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits Mono. It's actually a decent copy. It's not, it's not a great copy, but it's, it's a pretty solid copy. It's got one teeny tiny skip on uh, Blowing in the Wind. I'm gonna play it for you so you can hear it before and after. Um, what I'm gonna do for my iPhone is, I, I actually have something that's a little bit, basically the same as the other one, but it attaches to your iPhone camera and sticks in. I can't use this to, I, I've tried to use this in a video and and uh, fix a record. It's really hard because it's really tight against a record. I'll try it and see if I can fix it because this has only got one skip in it. Um, but first of all, I'm gonna play the record for you so you can get a so you can hear the skip, and then we'll fix it, and then we'll go back and you can hear it. So here we go. So usually the hardest part is trying to get the skip, is trying to find it, um, and it's coming up here. I know that's why there's that. Uh, post-it note there so I, I know it's right there here it comes it's coming up right there all right so you can see let me see if I can get my pen in here my pencil I am not gonna probably be able to get this in here okay so there it is this oh this is tight this is really hard to do uh, okay so what you're looking at here as you can see, it's really hard to see on this because of uh, the angle of this lens to try to record it, but it's this vertical, or I'm sorry, this, uh, this scratch right here. It's causing it to jump forward on the song, on the track. I think it's right there, and it might be right there. I'm gonna pull this off 
and use the one that I showed you because I can't, I, I really need to be close to be able to pull this off. But that's what you're looking at. That's what you're looking for. You'll find it. I'm going to show you what another scratch looks like. Hang on. Okay, so this is a scratch on a different record. Um, I just I just pulled this out so you can actually see it. You can it's it's much clearer to see here. And all you're gonna do is we take your needle and go back and forth, and you you got to regroove them out. And you'll have to, and that's why some of these just aren't worth it. Like if you have a scratch that goes, you got a three dollar Herb Albert whips whipped cream and other delight, which granted is a great record and totally worth the effort. Um, it's probably better to go pick up another copy because this just takes forever. If you screw up one of these grooves, then you'll never get it back. Um, so, but that's basically just it. And I will go back and forth. So I'll go from this side and then I'll flip the record around and go back from this side. And you just got to keep going back and forth slowly, but slowly, but surely. And the big key factor is, let me turn the camera around. So when you're clearing out these scratches, like I said, you're going, you can, you can kind of see the scratch there. When you're coming in at these, you don't want to be like this because then you're going to just, you can hear it. You don't want to do that because then you're just actually digging the groove deeper. Your goal is to go across the groove and you just want to kind of fix the walls of it. Um, so that the needle is, so what happens when is when this scratch occurs, I don't care about this record, so it's a demonstration. So when this scratch occurs, those walls of the record, uh, of the grooves, are being pushed into the next groove. And that's what's causing the ticks and the pops and the skips, is, is your needle's coming around and it's hitting that open spot of the scratch, and then boop, going to the next one, and then boop, going to the next one. So you need to clear those out and give it a track. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to clear any kind of debris or uh, issues that would cause the needle to move. So again, you're just going back and forth. So I usually keep it probably at like a 25, maybe a 30 degree angle. Not like this, but almost the same, as close to the same level of the record as you possibly can. And that's it. You just keep going back and forth in the grooves. Then you kick the record over this way. And then you do it from this side. And you have to be real careful because if you've got a deep, like this one, like right here, like you can see I'm getting a lot of resistance on this. You have to be real careful with those. I mean, sometimes you can't fix all of them. You really can't. Um, it's... I'd say it's about 85%. Maybe I can fix about 90% records that I find. Some of them are just too far gone. Some of them just have, uh, I see a lot of, I don't know what it is, but something is eating the, has eaten that spot of the vinyl and it just looks like it's melted. Uh, I don't know what causes that. I see it quite a bit. Sometimes you can get those to play. Sometimes you can't. Again, every record's going to be a little different. The answer is going in the wind. All gone. So you got the before and after. Uh, it works. It, it works great. It really does. You just it takes a lot of practice. Um, that actually took me three tries. I had to go back and play it back and forth because I was working. So if you you can't really see it, but there's a really fine scratch and it kind of goes along the groove, and that's an important thing. If you have a record that ha this is what I was using to do the you know magnifier. Uh, if you have a record and it has what's a vertical, what I call a vertical. Uh, scratch that goes with the grooves those things are impossible they're not impossible but they are an absolute nightmare to try to fix because what happens is that scratch gradually cuts across those grooves and instead of like the the vertical scratches that go they go like this you can go back and forth pretty easily on that but those vertical ones they tend to uh, push a lot more of the groove out of line, and it's really, really hard to get the needle to to, to find that track again. It can be done. It's tricky. Uh, it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. It doesn't always work. But a lot of times you also have to look at a record. If you have it, and it's just like that one, it just skips in one spot. Most of the time, it's just some debris is stuck in the groove. Like if you played a record and it was fine, and all of a sudden now it's skipping in that one particular spot, you might just need a magnifying glass and needle just to pop something out. Um, but there it is. Um, hopefully those close-ups will help you. Um, it's very important you don't need a heavy hand. It's, it's, it's almost like uh, painting. It's very, very light. It's very, very, as little as, as pressure as possible. And again, you want it to kind of go in 
gently you're not digging it out you're not doing anything you're just trying to regroove you're trying to get those those the walls of the grooves to line back up so the needle can track properly but that's it please like and share this if you're if you appreciate it uh, because youtube is not going to let me do anything with it because bob dylan did not give me permission to use his song in this video so they will not let me do anything with it uh, but it'll be there so you can watch it so and that's all I really care about so thank you again for watching as always spatula city records I'm Matt Lehman. Thanks for watching and we'll come at you with some more videos real soon